The massacre at a Colorado movie theater has many people questioning just how safe they are in public places and whether anything else can be done to keep killers at bay. KTK's Garrett Sanders right now joins us live in Tyler and he spoke with some local theaters about how they plan to deal with a recent Colorado fallout. Local theater managers told me today that they already have security measures in place to keep movie goers, goers safe. But I spoke with one local security consultant who said it's up to you to make sure you and your family are safe. It's one of the most anticipated movies of all time. And at theaters across the country, including right here in East Texas, Bat fans gathered to enjoy Christopher Nolan's final Dark Knight installment. But instead of plot points and character development, the conversation now is much darker. I'm flabbergasted. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Kids, kids that age need to be able to go somewhere and have fun and don't lose their life in the process. It's just ought to be to where you can go out with your friends and have a good time, enjoy a Batman movie, and not have to worry about somebody blowing your head off. Connie Vaughn is with Quality Consulting and Security Services in Bullard, and he says although hindsight is 2020, there are some changes that can be made to make the theater somewhat safer. Sometimes it's not good that someone can come in an exit door. Sometimes you need to choke them down to one entrance, one exit. First area that we look at is, is our presence, the uniform, the armed security officer, the presence. But every situation is different. You can't stop all these things from happening. When it comes to the point <coughs> somebody smuggling a gun into a theater or whatever, what are you going to do? You can't search everybody. And it seems looking out for those you love will usually be your best option. We're here to take care of each other, to love each other, not, not to kill each other and hurt each other. Now, Mr. Vaughn also teaches gun self-defense classes. And he said this morning before 11, he already had six new people wanting to learn. And they said they all want to do that because of the Colorado shooting. Reporting live in Tyler, Garrett Sanders, KETK News. Tonight on the point of view.